got um, some bittersweet chocolate. I just chose this. And we're going to melt that with some butter. I believe it's, what, six tablespoons of butter. And this is about 12 ounces of chocolate. I think it's actually a little bit less. I'm just gonna... Amazing how I can't open most stuff, but I can get that chocolate open no time. So I, I guess that must be it. Usually I can't open any jars. Before I can get this open. It looks like a lot, but it all comes together. These are really chocolatey. Okay, we're gonna pop that in the microwave. Oops. Okay. Let's try it for, I'll try it for a minute, I think. Okay, Get all this garbage. I'm gonna quick wash my bowl here. Instead of the bittersweet, um, you may, you could, chocolate-wise, it wouldn't be a problem. I'm just wondering if um, you might want to adjust the sugar then, to not make it, not have as much sugar in it. Okay. That might be just something that you want to play with. Because I don't think, I don't think these are going to be bad, you know, <laughs> even if you have a little less sugar than you should. Okay, we're gonna pretend that's not on there, but. Okay, we're going to start with our um, sugar and eggs. There's our sugar and we got three eggs. God bless you. Sugar. We got one cup of sugar there. You can turn that on. That sounds like our chocolate. Ooh, yeah, this is good. Here's our chocolate and butter. And remember when we met when we melt anything in the microwave, it's better to put more time in than you can't take the time back, and you'll burn your chocolate. So I'm going to stir this a little bit. And it says to melt it and then cool it. Because we've got eggs here, so you're not going to put this hot chocolate. You'll cook the eggs. So we're just going to let that cool a little bit. Oh, we're getting this on here. Okay. I think that's all melted, we're close to it. And we'll let that just cool a little bit. Now we're gonna put our flour and our baking powder in here. Right, right, right. Oh, the chocolate mixture first. All right, this isn't real, real hot. Now you can do like, traditionally you should put a little bit of egg into the chocolate and then, you know, that cools it down. I find that if you just, um, if you're using an electric mixer like this, if you have the electric mixer running and you slowly pour in your chocolate, like I said, this is not real hot, but you just don't want to cook the eggs is the only reason why we're doing this. Okay. A lot of chocolate. Put our flour and our baking powder in. Like I said, this is 
This is all the flour we have. So these are really fun cookies. These are good. Okay. And then we're going to put in some chocolate chips and some walnuts. Get the walnuts in. And our chocolate chips. That's it. That's all our ingredients. So what we have here, other than what it looks like a gloppy mess, and this is for people who like to get their hands dirty. Okay, so that's our cookie. Now, what the directions say, let's get rid of this, so we have some room to work. It is a piece of plastic wrap. Half of this. Like I said, gloppy mess here. And you use the plastic wrap to kind of form it into your log. kind of want to make it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but kind of all the same size all the way down. And then just roll it up and stick it in the refrigerator. Oh, look at here. When it comes out, <laughs> It, you know, this refrigerator is just wonderful. It just is quick. Okay. It's nice and hard. And it really didn't take that long to, longer than that, but it didn't take that long for this to harden up. All right, here's your little log. And I did make this a little bit longer. All right, then we're going to cut it. My knife is over here. Put it on our baking sheet. We are going to grease this or put a little spray on this. Or you could use parchment paper. And we're just going to cut these. Yes, anything, I think um, all the cookies that we've done tonight, you could either um, freeze the dough or freeze them once they're already made. They don't spread a lot because they don't have a whole lot in them other than chocolate and nuts. So there's our little chocolate cookies and they are very chocolate. Mm -hmm.